Hey everyone, and welcome to a new game that we're gonna play. Actually, it's probably gonna be only one episode. I'm not quite sure how long this is gonna be, but yes, I know, I saw this on Jack's channel, and yes, I know. But um, it looked really freaking cool, and I didn't fully watch his video, only a little part, just to be sure that this would stay fun to watch. And we're gonna go into it. It's kind of like a text adventure, such as um, the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy text adventure that we did before, but just with a little bit more of a graphic cue and everything. So, it's made by uh, Crows Crows Crows, that's the studio, it's on itch.io, so check that out if you want. The game is called The Temple of No. It's made by Dominic Johan and William Pug. Pug, that's cool. Uh, and it includes visual and audio. Headphones are not recommended, but mandatory. Hey. So, the game is made in Twine. Click underlined words to play. So, Twine. Yeah, well, nobody's perfect. Um, for those who don't know, uh, Twine is... I, I personally don't know Twine, but I'm guessing that it's like a programming language. Or um, a framework or something like that. So, there we go. Hello! This story may frighten and disturb you, but if you have a strong stomach, a smart brain box, and a cool face, then perhaps you're brave enough to hear it. Well, I do have a... well, I don't really have that strong of a stomach, but I do have a smart brain box, and of course, cool face, I mean, look at the, the glasses and the pitiful beard, you know, stuff like that. So, let's click story first. What? Please don't interrupt me while I'm explaining what's about to go down. So, maybe click it again. Listen, this is a twine. You're acting like you've never played a twine before, so please just... What? Seriously? Never played a twine before? Well, you're about to be spoiled, because this is going to be the best twine ever made. Yeah, that's right. Even better than the beginning of Firewatch. I still don't know that what twine is, then. This joke isn't funny anymore, and it's your fault for continuing to click on it. Don't do this again. Ah, oh, I can't click on it anymore. Okay, well, I'm brave enough to hear it. So... Then perhaps you're brave like a storm, a bear, or a sailor. I kinda wanna say sailor, because I mean, sailors are like, yor, yor. No, that's more like pirates, but I mean, sailors are tough as nails. They live on a ship, or a boat, or whatever you wanna call it, for months at a time. Usually without their wives, or their husbands, or whatever the fuck, so, sailor. Enough of that, this isn't about you. Anyway, are you ready? Yes. Good. This is a story that took place a long time ago. Right, that's it. No more of these. <laughs> it's a good one. Anyway, let's get out this dusty old tome and hear of this fantastic tale. It's called A Big Fat Book. <laughs> that's cool, though. Yeah, that looks really cool. <gasps> like a sailor. Oh, oops. The Brave Explorer, The Jungle of Doubt, and The Temple of No. Presented by Crows, Crows, Crows. Let's begin. Okay, so this is a magical book. Its magic power is to be incredibly relatable. Are we a woman, a bloke, or a frog? Well, I'm not a woman. I'm not a frog. So let's go for the bloke. So, Charles started his adventure, and the way he often started his adventures, in the field outside his house, picking daisies. He'd picked five or six, weave them into a little tiara for the daughter he'd always wanted, and... W wait a second, this is sounding like a run-of-the-mill generic twine! A twine is like a game, but for teenagers who want to be in the past. Is that what a twine is? Okay, whatever. This isn't a story about daisies or lost loves. Let's turn a couple of pages and get to the good stuff. The withered trees of his backyard. He'd missed his dark-haired love every day of his life since he... No, keep going! Okay, sure, sorry. The autumn leaves would soon fall, he thought then upon his old primary school, in which his headmaster had always said, Nothing lasts for... Yeah, that's right, keep turning. Okay, sure. Turned to ash, the frogs hopped around in the pond, and as he moved slowly on, his parents' words came again to him. Remember the explorer's oath. Look, don't ch For fuck's sake, I swear it gets good soon. Okay. The dog yapped and yapped, its owner shouted, Baker, be still, with a roar. Uh, that wasn't really a roar, but okay. Charles knew this woman would never cease to- We must be nearly there. 
hmm, I'm, maybe I should do like a, we're nearly there for the storyteller. Yeah, that might be a good one. The baboon gave a mighty screech and tore upon his face like a prime and thrashing match and keep going. Sure. Wait, wait, wait. Go back one. Okay. Ooh, a frog. Hmm. Oh, wait. No, it was just explaining how Charles lost his eye. It said he fought a baboon on one of his earlier adventures. Sorry. Alright. Ooh, 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 ooh. Sorry for the white thing over here. I kind of messed with the page to get this. A little bit to the right, so... Oops. Frickin' jungle transition and audio. You're noticing this? The Prussian quest didn't have this. Right. Right, let's go right into the story. Charles entered the jungle of doubt on his journey to find... The map that sees all things that ever have been or will be. But in map form, the map was legendary. The old tales spoke about it. Yeah, you know, the old tales. Yeah! Anyway, so Charles knew he proper wanted to map. To tell him the secrets of the universe. If he brought the map back to civilization, he would truly achieve greatness. He knew it in his warm, fleshy human heart. The temple that held the map was close. Ooh, oh, that looks cool though. So we have... Uh, cool. Charles looked up, down, all around. Uh, up. Up at the mossy green leaves of the giant jungle trees that reached high above him. They spread out and sometimes you could barely see the sun. He was in the heart of the jungle and he knew his prize was near. Look down. Down at the ground. He didn't know why he was looking down, but he could see some dirt, a bit of gum wrapper, some tourist or jungle resident had left on the floor. Clean up your little kids. Clean, <laughs> Clean up your litter, kids. Don't pollute the environment. And look all around at the jungle surrounding him. He had to cut through the leaves and brush and flora and jungle debris in order to get to the temple that he was going to. Oh, this is really taxing on my voice. As Charles cut through the leaves and brush and flora and jungle debris, he mm, thought about doing some shit, sang a little song, and considered the possibility that life was futile. Futile? Nah, let's sing a little song. Oh god. He thought he would sing a little song. You, the player, must sing along to the background music with these lyrics. If you don't, you will know that you have let yourself down. And if you don't really fucking enjoy this game, it will be because you didn't put the effort in. These are the lyrics to the song he sung. I, I'm cutting the leaves, I'm pushing past the trees. I'm flashing away at this blush for a jungle the breeze. My name is Charles. And I'm singing a song to take up the time while I travel along To the path, to the temple of- NO! That is where I'm going to go I am cutting the leaves, I am pushing past the trees I am slashing away at these brush, flora and jungle debris I'm going on an adventure today this game is really, really fun to play. The iron games can be fun. I will shout. Check out me singing in the jungle of doubt. I'm cutting the leaves. I'm pushing past the trees. I'm slashing away at these blush for a jungle the breeze. Soon I'll be at the temple of no. It's got a lot of treasure and I'm going to go. Take some back to my hometown Keep it for myself and not share any around I'm cutting the leaves, I'm pushing past the trees I'm flashing away at yeah, these brush flora and jungle debris If you didn't sing the song then you don't know you've let yourself down You need to let yourself have fun in your life don't try to be so serious If you didn't sing the song Please scroll back up and try again If you did sing the song Well done! You are cool now! Thank you! Sorry Charles wasn't there yet He still had much more jungle to cut through So he 
thought about some shit. Charles thought about his life where hun whoa wait. Charles thought about how his feet were hurting him a bit. He wished he bought some What? Geox shoes the shoes that breathe trademark. He continued to think. Charles thought about how his nose was itchy. If he'd bought Geox, Geox shoes, the shoes that breathe, tape trademark, he would likely have had such comfortable, com, com, comfortable feet that he wouldn't be bothered by a meager nose itch. Oh God! He continued to think. Geox, the shoes that breathe. Fucking hell, Charles thought. Still a ways to go. He. Considered the possibility that life was futile. Charles thought about the futility for a while. Then he remembered that it wasn't any fun to think about, and so he thought about a frog doing a little dance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do 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 frog dance. Do 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 do. Frog dance! Finally, Charles stopped imagining things. What a weirdo. He did it all. Thought about some shit, sang a little song, considered the possibility that life was futile. Yes, light! Charles emerged from the jungle and saw... The Temple of No. Charles marveled at its magnificence. Probably built by the Aztecs, dude. Like, that is big! Anyway, we're not going to go get anywhere just sitting around here giving expositions. Let's climb some stairs. Up, up, up the stairs we go. And then, the temple! So, right, it's the temple, huh? Remember the explorer's oath. Look, do not touch! Charles carefully walked down the dusty and or spooky corridor of the temple. Be extra careful not to touch anything. He arrived in a large hall with three doors. Three. Three doors. Three. Three. That is one plus two. Three doors. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. It's selection time, everybody. Left, middle, or anti-left. Oh, that's right, I'm guessing. So we have three dots, ohm, and just... Roman 3, or whatever you want to call that. And we have a little skull and bone. Ooh, I look cool though. Ooh, so. Okay, uh, let's try the middle first. So, Charles entered the big old room. Okay, wow, more stairs in here. Let's climb them. Climbing up, 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 yes. Remember back at the start of this twine game when you picked Sailor, Storm, blah, blah. Yeah, those were good times. <gasps> wait, 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 no, no, a boulder, run away, dude, run! There's danger, real present danger, are you excited? Scream if you want to progress the next section of the game. Ah! Um, I'm really lucky that my neighbors aren't there yet because they live right there behind that wall. Okay, so not that room. Guess Charles will try one of the other doors. Uh, maybe left then? Oh, wow, it's the Spike Room. Remember Spike Milligan? Nope. Good. Webster's Dictionary defines Spike as a very large nail. One of a row of pointed irons placed, as on the top of a wall, to prevent passage. One of several metal projections set in the sole and heel of a show to impress. Oh, no, that wait, that doesn't apply here. Okay, so I don't think there's anything in this room. Hmm. I guess we should turn around. I'm really botching this voiceover. <laughs> so let's go with anti-left. Oh, dude! In this room, there's a bunch of snakes having a pool party. Remember that game Snake? Remember how it had actual gameplay? Can't make snake entwine, can you? Haha, <laughs> no, but let's talk to the snakes. Hey, snakes! Um, okay. Yeah, they seem to be having a cool time. No treasure in here though, unless you count a bunch of snakes as treasure, which I personally don't. Yep. So, that was the spooky snake room. Sorry if you got scared. Back in here, I guess? Hmm. 
So, no, no doors leading to the right path. Can no door truly bring us what we want in life? Perhaps that is the meaning of this tale. That you can go through a jungle, sing a song, climb some boring stairs, check a bunch of rooms, and still you'll never find what you were looking for. Wow, makes you think, eh? Makes you think. Think, think, think. The end. Oh wait, no, there was another door over to the right. Let's do it. Charles entered the door and found the great leader's chamber. Wow, what the fuck happened to his face? Ooh, we have something, thing oh, an eye, oh, this is interesting. On the seat was the oh, great hello, leader. Sir. Come on in, come on in. Right, so, um, hello. Um, nice to meet you. Nice, uh, hello. Uh, sorry, one sec. Let me just. Uh. Right. Um, um, okay. Uh, so, yeah, nice. Not, hello. Right, hello. My name is. My name's fucking Keith. Right? And I am. Uh, well, uh, I'm the guy in the throne. I'm the, I'm the, I'm the bloody, bloody Aztec god, I suppose. Um, oh, he's a god. Funny, funny story. You look like you kind of come from civilized society, I think. Um, but yeah, so I, um, funnily enough, used to be a shoe salesman. You know, I sold, um, you know, shoes. I, I sized people's shoes. Down, um, you know, down, 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 Halifax Market, you know, for, you know, sorting people's feet out, you know, measuring them, tell you what size you are, you know, put your, put your feet on the little thing, and, um, and so, you know, one day I was, you know, back in, back in the storage, when, you know, um, I found, I, 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 I went past kind of size six, uh, before, before I got to size seven, and then, you know, God, no, ne next thing, next thing I bloody well know, I'm, I'm here, I'm here, uh, I'm here in this temple, accidentally bloody kill the old, uh, the old Aztec god, and, um, and so, the, the, the people of the, this temple, and, and, and of the surrounding jungle constituencies, they, they've made me their, um, de facto leader, uh, uh, yeah, um, so... You know, that, that's, that's my back story. Um, so he became the Aztec god because the old Aztec god died because of the traps in the temple. So I'm guessing that he did not know the explorer's old. I'm going to click through because I listened and listened some more and proceeded to ask for the map. Okay, oh. um, sorry, I am really sorry, but, um, that, you can't have the map, okay? Um, Why not? So, sorry, there's been a bit of a, uh, miscommunication here. Um, the map, old artifact of the temple, okay, predates me, predates me, predates a whole load of people, you know? Um, only I'm allowed to look at the map, you know? So, so clearly... Okay, so that's clear. So this angered him, and I decide to kill him. Oops. Well, he was annoying anyway, so... But little did he know, in killing the great leader, trademark, he would become the great leader, trademark, and... And violate the explorer's oath! No! How could Charles have forgotten the explorer's oath? It was tre importante. Shit, that's French, not Spanish. French! Now, as his, as his great leader, loyalists, approached him, ready to worship him as their new god, Charles had to decide right here and right now if he would break vows and totally just be a cool ruler in the jungle or grab the map and escape back to Civilization V. Yeah, nice Easter egg. Nice reference. Ah, oh, I wanted to say reference. I'm just making it worse. I'll shut up. Um, so do we want to be a cool ruler in the jungle or do we want to go back to civilization? And I kind of want to be a cool ruler. 
And that's what he did. That's what Charles did. Or should I say... That's what I did! That's right, fools! I'm old Charles, and that shit happened to me! I don't know what lesson I learned, or if I learned any lessons at all, but I got the map. I got it. And it's given me many pieces of insight, and because you've heard my tale and listened to my words of wisdom, I will tell you one piece right now. The wisdom is... Have you ever played a good game made in Twine, like one of that, one that's actually good, not just good for a Twine game? That's it, that's the end, thanks for playing. So that was it. That's, that's cool though, I wonder what would have happened if I went back to civilization with the map. But, it's kind of like, you know, I became the Aztec god. So the map was rightfully mine, and I could look at it, and I could go back to civilization anyway. But if I would have taken the map, would have gone back to civilization, I would have still been like an explorer, and I would have broken the explorer's oath. And that's not good. Then people would probably have lynched me, strung me up, and then I wouldn't really have anything worthwhile for getting the map all that way, you know. Fucking bulls that come around after snake rooms. Well, the snakes were chill though, because they were just chill. So let's see, this was designed and illustrated by Dominic Johan, written and voice acted by William Pug, produced by Kevin Patterson, hosted on itch.io. So if you want to play the game, go check it out on itch.io. Want to try your hand at making a good game in Twine? Download the game source code on GitHub. Ambient sounds by Free Sounds and Sound Snap. The Dancing Frog song is, hmm. So yeah, the friend, the Dancing Frog song is Gold Rush by Kevin McLeod. No, that's the Dancing Frog song by Lapel. Copyrighted, trademark. Geox. So thank you guys for watching. I hope this was enjoyable. I wanted to do a quick little game for in between because I don't have much time to record the next few days. So I'll try to record a few episodes tomorrow. Um, but I thought I'd just already record this because it's like uh, 10, 10, 15 in the evening. I just got back from my parents. Um, my brother's girlfriend is having her baby tomorrow. So I have a busy, busy week stuff you know my girlfriend's coming over tomorrow so it's gonna be fun and i'll try to upload something so thank you guys so much for watching if you like watching this oh my god i keep fucking it up if you like this episode hit the like button if you want to see more of my content go and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next episode bye <laughs>